and rotor and rotor is rotated at 1000 rpm opposite direction to direction to the main field now now for the synchronization in between the stator and rotor magnetic field rotor magnetic field is must rotate at 2000 rpm so the relative motion in between these is 200 rpm so the relative speed equals to 120 f upon p and frequency equals to p equals p divided by 120 into relative speed so the frequency equals to 100 hertz hertz now come to so the c option is correct now come to the question number 16 a six pole three phase bound rotor induction machine is driven by another machine at 1800 rpm rotor of the induction motor mach, induction machine is connected to 50 hertz system if the mechanical rotation of a rotor in is in the same direction as the rotor winding flux rotation then the frequency of the stator voltage will be now come to the solution as we all know that rotor rotor is rotated at 1800 rpm and rotor magnetic field is supplied by rotor magnetic field is supplied by six pole three phase uh, 50 hertz system okay due to this it is rotated at 1000 rpm in this direction okay now for the synchronization in between these two field rot stator magnetic field must be rotated at 2800 rpm now so the relate so the frequency equals to pole upon 120 into relative speed and relative speed is 2880 rpm so the frequency is 140 hertz so the b option is correct now come to the 17 question the absolute speed of magnetic field in the space of three phase rotor fed induction machine is now come to the solution absolute speed what is this absolute speed which represent the running capability of induction motor to sustain in constant speed in between the stator and rotor ma- rotating magnetic field here ns minus nr which represent the running technique needed to sustain a constant speed so the answer c is correct now come to the question number 18 a voltmeter gives 120 actually oc- oscillation per minute when connected to a rotor of an induction motor the stator frequency is 50 hertz the slip of the motor is this is the simple question now come to the solution one oscillation equals to time period a 120 actual oscillation equals to 120 t time period 120 t equals to 1 minute as mentioned in the question so the t equals to 0.5 second and we all know that fr equals to 1 upon t then fr equals to 2 hertz so the rotor frequency equals to 2 hertz now slip fr upon f that is 0.04 so the 4% is slip now correct c option is correct now come to the question number 19 choose the correct statement from the following as the load on the three phase induction motor is increased from no load to full load this is the also simple question but we have to understand this what up what happened from no load to full load in no load only current i node current flow due to the magnetizing current magnetizing branch so due to the i node the angle between the v1 and i node is very large oh so due to this cosine angle of this very large angle is very small so the at no load cosine angle uh, power factor input power factor is very very small that is around 0.2 to 0.3 okay now if the it is loaded then the uh, then the i2 current rotor current come into picture due to this the angle is reduced in between the current and voltage now due to this current due to this angle theta 1 theta 1 cosine of this theta 1 is uh, theta 1 is reduced so the cosine angle of theta 1 is increase so the power factor increase now come to the slip at no load the synchronous speed is approximately equal to ns so due to uh, at the no load slip is around max around to zero okay now when it is loaded at full load then uh, operating point of the induction motor at c now due to this slip is increased from 0 to 0.04 0.05 so the slip is also increased this okay now efficiency
the efficiency equals to power output upon power input okay now when it is lo loaded from no load to full load then the i2 current is come into picture now due to this power output that is i2 square into r2 upon s where that is the air gap power now power output at mechanical load that is 1 upon s minus 1 that is into copper laws so due to this slip is increased then the power output no 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 power output where at no load i2 current is not there but when it is loaded then i2 current is come into picture so due to this power output is increased so the power output upon power input that is efficiency is also increased so the option a is correct now come to the question number 20 in the three phase induction machine pg is represent air gap power then rotor ohmic losses and mechanical power developed this is a simple question we all know that copper losses is s equals to pg where pg equals to i2 square r2 upon s and pm mechanical power that is also simple 1 upon 1 minus s into pg so the c option is correct If you have any query then meet me in comment box and if you like this video then like it, share it and comment on it. Okay and don't forget to subscribe Refresh Tech Education.